Welcome to the rooftop of Australia. We are choppering over the highest point, Mount Kosciuszko. If this is not thrill enough in a chopper over Kosciuszko, we are on the most extraordinary winery tour. Think of all your favourite things all in one. It doesn't get better than this. From our starting point in Tumut, we are heading towards Tumbarumba, nestled into the snowy valley at the foothills of Australia's highest mountain peaks. And that's where we're heading, straight through there. Correct. We're going straight up the centre of the valley. Correct. No taxis or Ubers here. This is how you should do a wine tour. Oh yeah, we are skimming the treetops of the Bogong Peaks in the Great Dividing Range and hovering just over the waterways of the Snowy River Scheme. Clearly, you don't even have to be interested in wines to have a good time on this trip. You can really get into the history and the beauty of the wilderness. That is so true. I mean, there's uh, six wilderness areas contained within the Kosciuszko National Park from, from different species. There's plants, flora and fauna here that's found nowhere else in the world. The alpine setting of the Snowy Valley not only makes for a formidable view, but it's also an exceptional spot for creating cool climate wines. There's over 250 hectares of vines in Tumbarumba, producing 2,000 tonnes of wine per vintage. All you need is to find the spot to land. Oh, so exciting arriving in this way. Well, it sure beats walking. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. How is this for an entrance? Beautiful. Welcome to the top of a mountain. Thank you so much. Wow. At 840 metres above sea level, Obsession Wines is the highest vineyard in the region. And it kind of has the views to prove it. Adrian, that is showing off. It is a little, isn't it? It's just totally showing off. Incredibly, Adrian's vines are all Hand-picked. It's also grown organically, so hence the weeds you can see growing underneath. Right. And then we bring in some little miniature sheep, and then they just mow it in the off-season. Right, but that is labour-intensive, isn't it? For the sheep it is, yeah, they've got a lot of mowing to do. <laughs> and the sheep aren't the only ones that'll be working hard here. Adrian has a red blend that needs a traditional touch. How do you like me now? I am ready for work. We are not fishing, people. We are stomping. We are, and you're a sight for sore eyes, but you I must say. How do I get in? <laughs> oh, wait, I can't feel the bottom. You're I really way. can't feel the bottom. I, do I stomp? Yeah, yeah, you just walk your way around. OK. You get to gym workout. Oh, yeah. Woo! This is great. Do you do this all the time? Yeah, so this is this is the method I use to for all my red ferments. Why would I love you... it that you can feel yeah. those little hot spots and the cold spots. Luckily, you won't be left to ferment on your glamorous day out. OK. Wine. <laughs> I've earned wine. When it comes to tasting, well, you've got to try a cheeky glass of Chardonnay. It's what the region is best known for. So you'll get that vanilla-y, buttery, almost, and there's still some hints of peach coming through in that. It's just really yummy. Yeah. It's delicious. Bottoms Thank you. Up. At the spin of the prop, you're up and you're on your way to your next stop, Kurubara Winery. It's just so magical flying in. You're not stuck in traffic. Nothing to annoy you, it's all perfect. It's a rock star entrance. It's a rock star entrance. At 730 metres above sea level, horticulturalist Kathy discovered the perfect place for growing grapes and making bubbles. So we are the coldest wine growing region on mainland Australia, so only Tasmania is colder. Um, and we get a lot of natural acid, we get good fruit structure, we have cool nights, so the vines go to sleep just like humans do. Um, and they like to rest, so that actually gives them good flavour development and prolongs the, the fruit quality. And this is your big time award winner. It is our big time award winner. We've won um, Best in New South Wales four times. Um, we've won Best in Australia. We went blind against the French and beat the French champagnes. So this wine is a uh, our sparkling, 805 sparkling, 2013 vintage. Why do you call it 805? It's our address. <laughs> Hey, cut me some slack. It's a little bit easy to get discombobulated when you've had a few vinos and 
when you have never seen the letterbox? Well, as Jim said, when we chop it in, arriving this way, it's kind of like how the rock stars do it. We've walked straight in, met the most wonderful locals, we've stomped the grapes. It has just been extraordinary. And uh, now I get to have an extra sip, because I'm not driving.